What is up you beautiful people and welcome back. So in the previous video we saw how to go from a schematic to a board view. Now in this board view we place the components. Now we are going to route the components. We are going to connect the components. How we do? Let's find out in this video. So let's go. Once you come over to the board view, here we have an option called route. Okay. Here you can see auto route also. This option, I don't suggest you do that. Let me show you how it looks. Okay, if you click this, it says efforts, low, high, medium. I'll select medium efforts by the computer and select continue. And it's waiting and it says start. It's evaluating. See, it did a pretty good job if you guys can see. See, evaluate and it's done. See here, if you guys can see, it did a pretty good job. Okay, now you may be asking Rafik, what is red and blue? The red lines are the top layer. Okay, let, let me let me select the move option. Here, the red line are from the top layer, and see this is connected very good. Yeah, not a problem. And the blue line is from the bottom layer. It's a two-layered PCB now. Okay, top layer and a bottom layer. So bottom layer, there are three lines or four lines going on, and the top layer, they are remaining all going on. All right, but. How to do it manually? See, this was done by a PC. This was done by the Eagle automatically. Even we can do with the high standards. Like, see, it is done. Routing is 100% done. But we wanted to do it manually. So let's go to Control Z. <laughs> we came back here. Let's go route manually option. You can see option name over here. Select route manually. Now, if I just say fit to screen, the components are here. Let me zoom in. Okay, now first thing what we do, let's start connecting this grounds. Okay, so click on it and you can see there is a wire coming out red color, but it is very thin. The power unit which we give we needs to be thick, right? Here go to width and probably select 0 0.8. Yes, it's amazing now, right? That is why I say go do manually, not automatically. <laughs> now from ground. This ground is connected to this capacitor. Okay, wonderful. Now this is a power supply. So we need power supply to be connected very thick, obviously because power is transmitting. And this power, this is another wire. We'll connect that later. First, let's start connecting the wires which you see, which are easy to connect. Now the wire width is 0 0.8, but let's go select it 0 0.6. That's enough, okay, to do the internal connections. But let's undo it first, okay. Here we have the wire selection again. Let's click on it and select this to this. Simple, right? Select this resistor to this. You know, just do what you see easy. See, this is easy. Let's connect this. Now, this is easy, right? This is connected. Now go to wire again. I mean the routing option. Now we select 0 0.8. Now we select this. Go like this and go like this. This looks beautiful right that's a ground right now let's go back to the wire option of small 0 0.6 now which is easy one just find the easy ones guys don't complicate things see here this is easy one right i am gonna select this see this do come here and connect this right here this is connected voila right now this capacitor can be connected easily connected okay now what what is left what is left there is a wire here. I'll show you how to do that wire amazingly. I'll show you that. Don't worry. Now, okay, okay, we can connect this over here. Okay, that is going from this one, but we don't want that like that. So let's select like this. Yeah, this is good. Not a bad thing. It is good. Now, we select this and place it like this. This is connected 5 volts. Amazing. Now, what is left? Okay, so we can, yeah, we can do this resistor right here to this resistor, but you know, it is intersecting over here on this wire. Never do that. Okay, you may think, okay, let me select it. Now, if I zoom in right there, these wires are connected. Okay, what happens right here is, if you can see, the 5 volt is going to the N$7, the 7th wire, and it's connected to this resistor and going to that. Oh, yes, it is connected like that. But we don't want like that. So what to do? Just go control Z it, remove it first, then zoom back. Now, what we do is 
these are the wires which we did in a first layer i can still connect everything in the first layer but what there is another option of going to second layer to do second layer the, here you can see one top layer select that and go to the bottom layer it's simple go to the bottom layer click on it and voila this is connected now you may say rafik there is a blue line going over the ground port but the ground it's from the below for our safety what we can do is the select that and move move this wire upper below delete it let me delete uh, i cannot wait control back yeah now go to the wire routing option in the bottom layer and i select like this go from here and to here okay this wire is going simple and need not connecting anything because there is a hole we connect a resistor it is connected from up and up bottom also don't do that okay now we have a resistor this resistor is good is connected over here this one okay voila like this but here there is a wire so we can use wire but about wire i'll make a complete separate video how to do that but for now let's let's you know let's do it as neat as we can let me show you one thing wait this wire is a bit clumsy right let's 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 make it neat and yeah, this is good yeah for now for now for now no no for now also no okay i don't want this to be connected to that one okay so for now yeah it is okay yeah for now that is okay but in the upcoming video i'll show you about why why i need a separate video so that's okay we can do it we can do that in the upcoming video oh why did i move that <laughs> okay now let's go route and select this component and we can just you know place it right here but i want to place it there so yeah you can do a cross one also not a problem but don't do that i'll see you why i'll see you why okay here what i can do is let's unselect it wait let's escape it let's first go with this one see now what happened here let me zoom in here you see we found something like a you know a node a uh, disorganized shape which we don't need that so we can just organize it like this properly okay is just how you move things and how you set things routing is a very simple thing and you will learn it with time but now here we are going to cross to the first wire i mean the bottom layer but why i don't want to use the bottom layer now i'll go to the top layer because there is no top layer root so clear here and simply bring it right here and now zoom back zoom back you can see voila we got the components and everything is rooted we just rooted it very simply we did it with auto root too but auto root sometimes it does a good job but this because this was a very easy circuit it does it did it well but if it goes to a complicated circuit like microcontroller with so many number of pins and connecting all of them that's a hassle guys that's a big hassle and auto routing is a no no okay just try routing it manually you can decrease the size of it as much as you want because it's up to you and your requirement now i show you in a very simple way okay this was how you wrote it but are they all connected does they follow under the rule like the design rule and the electric rule check erc or drc we have to find out about that in our next video so i'll explain about all of that in the next video so thank you so much for watching till here i'll see you all in the next video see you